G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to go out and play a course that's just come available on Pac-Man's Patreon. The course is Moore's Golf Club. It's in Michigan. It's designed by Pac-Man and also TechBud, two big heavy hitters in the GS Pro course building community. Like I said, this is on Pac-Man's Patreon, so you have to be a member of his Patreon to have access to this course. As some of you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you're on the Facebook group, I don't have a driver at the moment. My driver face did crack. It's a tailor-made Sim 2. I've never had that happen to me before. Because of that, I'm gonna play off the blue tees, which is one forward tee because I'm using a three wood off the tee. All of our regular settings will be there, Stimp 12. For the holes, we're gonna go play hole one, three, six, nine, 13 and 18. This course does have a driving range, so before I go and tee off, I'll head to the range. Welcome out to Moore's Golf Club driving range. And look at this, this looks absolutely fantastic. You've got all these different flags to aim at. I'd love to see what the range looks like in real life. If I can find a picture, I'll put it up to compare, but this looks really cool. Let's hit a three wood while we're here. Oh, that was a stiff swing. Little Healy cut out there. And that's gonna be in the deep rough, it looks like. Just short of it. Okay, I think I'm gonna end on that one and we'll head straight to the first tee and see where this goes off the first tee. Okay, after that stiff swing, I'm happy to say, look how wide this fairway is. I'm gonna do a flyover. I think this is, uh, no, St. Andrews is probably the widest fairway, the first hole. I'm gonna say this is the second widest fairway I've ever seen but you can kind of block yourself out by that tree, it looks like, on your second shot. Okay, let's aim right in the middle because that stiff swing was extremely stiff. And I'm just gonna hit a three wood. Oh, it's another really stiff swing. Little Healy cut out there. But to be fair, that is gonna be absolutely perfect. I mean, there's no worries there. This is why you should warm up before, before playing. All right, 134, it's gonna come out slightly left. So I'm just gonna hit a nice smooth pitching wedge and this should be perfect. Oh, I've pulled it. That's a massive draw spin though. Okay, it's gonna be left of the green and that's gonna be quite a tough little shot to get up and down from. I'm gonna have to hit quite a high Flop shot. So we've short-sided ourselves. First hole, we've short-sided ourselves. I'm gonna try and land this just on the front edge. Sit. Not a bad effort. I did thin it a little bit because um, I'm hitting off putting turf, so it's hard to, to really clip those, those flop shots. Okay, that's left nine feet slightly down the hill, right to left. So I'm just gonna go inside right. And that's gonna be a lovely save for par at the first. Okay, onto the third hole, it's a par five. We do have some water out there. Let's do a flyover. This hole looks really cool. So we've got those bunkers. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to carry those with three wood. And then we've got this water there on the right, just looking ominous. Potentially, with a really good three wood, I'll be able to carry the bunkers and we'll be able to reach this in two. Don't cut. That's going to be fine. Lovely three wood. Just short of the water. And to be honest, I'm going to have about a six iron in. Okay, 200 to the green. Look at this hole. I mean, this is fantastic. What a well-designed hole. 200 to the pin. We've got 190 to the front edge of the green. It's going to come out right. What's the elevation? No elevation for this course. If you want to find out elevation real quick, if you hit T, it's actually on the scorecard there. You can see global elevation zero. So 190 to the front edge. I mean, this is just a perfect six iron. I'm going to have to hit it good though. Get right. Oh, it's a little bit left. That was so close to being perfect. So close to being perfect. And now we've got a really tough shot. Look at the lie. 12.3 degrees to the right, 16 up. So this is gonna come out dead right. Let's aim there. 
I'm going to have to hit some sort of a flop shot. I am on a massive upslope though. Let's go 16 yards. We'll try and 16 yard feel. Sit. Hit that way too hard. I deserve that because I just hit that way too hard. I did hit a little heavy again, which um, the club just ricocheted into the ball. All right, now we've got a tough shot. We've got to try and save par now. And again, severely downhill. So I'm going to have to uh, pretty much just flop this onto the front edge of the green and just let it run down. Go in the hole. I'll take that, that's a good recovery chip. So there, I've gone from six iron to the green, which I thought I was gonna have a chance at eagle to saving a par. Onto the sixth hole, another really good looking hole. Just look at this, look at the rough. Just looks absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's go up and see what we're dealing with. We've got 160 to the pin, 153 to the front edge. So again, I'm right in between clubs. I'm just gonna try and hit a really solid nine. I'll play a little bit of a draw to get a bit more distance out of this. Come on, be good. Really nice shot there. Executed perfectly. And that's gonna leave a 10 footer slightly down the hill. It's gonna snap, left off, uh, snap right off the putter face and then straighten up. Oh, just not enough. Okay, it's a good par. I thought I was going to get a birdie there. I thought I deserved a birdie there. Okay, we're still even par. We've got to get some birdies. On to the ninth hole. So, okay, this one runs alongside the first hole. So we'll do a flyover. We've got the first hole on our right. And it looks like a very similar hole to the first hole. Except we've got bunkers on the left now. Again, trees blocking the green. So if you block it right, you're potentially going to be behind um, those trees. Okay, so it's 255 to those trees, so I can reach those trees. So the smart thing to do is just to hit a little bullet four iron off the tee, leave ourselves a full wedge in. Lovely. Oh, sit. Sit, 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 sit. Hopefully I can get it over those trees. Oh no, I might have done exactly what I said not to. Let's have a look. Oh no, we should be fine. All right, that's leaving 128. It's gonna come out slightly right. I'm just gonna hit a gap wedge. I'm gonna have to really throw this up. That's the right club choice. That's perfect. Sit soft. Lovely shot. All right, let's see if we can make our first birdie. 11 feet. Oh, I'm just not reading them. I'm hitting good parts. I'm just not reading them correctly. That thing snapped. Okay, on to the 13th, 141 yards. This should just be a nice, smooth pitching wedge. Landed around 136 and then roll out to the pin. Be good. Okay, it's another good shot. Let's see if we can finally convert a part and go under par. Lovely, great part. That's gonna take us to one under par going into the 18th. Move over to the right side of the tee box and we'll see what we have, 260 to there. It's just gonna be a hybrid just to the middle of the fairway. That was flush. Really nice swing there. Straight down the middle. That's gonna leave 147. <laughs> Look how skinny this green is. Come on. This green is just the shape of a massive U. You can see that in the mini map there. That is insane. I've never seen a bunker like this. I've never seen a green like this. Okay, 145. Tough yardage now. Let's hit, it's gonna have to be a real smooth nine iron. Oh, I've pulled it. Sit down, sit. 
Okay, that's gonna be fine. It'll leave just a, well, actually it's a pretty tough chip because I'm gonna have to pop it up, try and land it in this fringe and then just have it run out. Sit soft. Oh, it's gonna make me putt it. Great putt, straight in the heart. And that's gonna be a very stress-free one under par around Moore's Golf Club. That is an exclusive Patreon course for Pac-Man. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, let me know. Any comments or questions, let me know down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.